Hi, I'm Jay Connor, founder and CEO of Learning Innovations. And today I'd like to share with you our journey with partners from the research community, the U.S. Department of Education, the National Institutes of Health, and teachers and educators in multiple school districts in, first of all, understanding the issue about third grade reading achievement, applying rigorous research, and now rolling out a solution in classrooms across North America. The issue that we've been dealing with in our partnership is third grade reading achievement. It has been pretty much flat in terms of performance over the last 20 years. Today, in a classroom in North America, nearly a third of our children are not reading at grade level at the end of third grade. If we were talking about a high need or high poverty environment, that number is likely to go up to 50%. As a result of this research, in classrooms in multiple school districts across the U.S., where the learning innovations, tools, and techniques are implemented, we're now finding that fully 90% of our children are reading at grade level, and 75% are reading at advanced to proficient levels. We are talking about high need populations that are reading on average at the fifth grade rate at the end of third grade. And here's how learning innovations achieve this. Working with researchers and reviewing accumulated evidence we were able to understand exactly what it took to bring children to grade level within reading. First of all, you needed to individualize. You needed to meet that child where their needs are. Second, you needed to be able to provide explicit systemic instruction. And thirdly, you needed to do it in small groups of children with similar skills in classrooms of children with a great diversity of skills. But there is a classroom paradox. Even though this is what the research tells us, once we started talking to teachers in classrooms, we found the sense that being able to individualize, though they know it's important, is nearly impossible to do in general education classrooms. Not only were we having problems in the classroom, but we also had conversations with superintendents, directors of curriculum, and school boards in multiple districts across North America that shared with us that there were billions of dollars being spent on reading interventions. And none of these various tools worked with each other, and so we had a huge investment of resource for reading that actually was fragmenting and moving us further away from a system solution. And now how we move to the solution. One of the pivotal elements was that we needed to be able to have an effective assessment that would inform our instructions. Now there are assessments available in almost every district right now is mandated, but those assessments had to provide an understanding of a child's skills around decoding, oral language, and knowledge about the world that all comes together to help with passage comprehension. To be able to understand those three different parts of skills that children needed to have, oftentimes we were not seeing sufficient assessment depth within the classrooms. So Learning Innovations had to develop a suite of online assessments. Even though Learning Innovations indexes all evidence-based assessment protocols, whether a school or district is mandated to have one or has chosen one, many of those assessments don't determine a student's individual needs to fully inform our algorithms. Also, many superintendents and teachers have complained about lost classroom time and the gap between assessment and when the data is available. And third, there's a growing body of research pointing to the fact that learning opportunities outside of the classroom are lost because there's no way to know whether it's an after-school program or at home what would be most helpful for that child. The underlying research that powered Learning Innovations to be able to provide this solution comes from nearly a $10 million investment over the past 10 years by the Institutes of Education Sciences of the U.S. Department of Education and the National Institutes of Health. Dr. Carol Connor was the principal investigator together with teams at the University of Michigan, Florida State, the Florida Center for Reading Research, Arizona State, and the University of California, Irvine. The reason why Learning Innovations can assure these outcomes now that we're moving to implementation is because the researchers performed seven randomized control trials that are reported on in 30 peer-reviewed journal articles. The core innovation of the research are the A-to-I algorithms that were developed by Dr. Carol Connor and her team and have received a patent from the U.S. Patent Office. The algorithms use assessment to understand what a child's initial skills are 
and then applies mathematics to determine the amount of instruction and the type of instruction that will get each child in your classroom to their end of the year target. The essence of the learning innovation, technology and technique is to apply the research in a highly automated fashion that takes all of the existing practices and investments and provides guidance to individualizing for teachers in the context of their own classrooms. And now we're going to have a brief demo of the Learning Innovations Technology Platform. Our Director of Professional Development, Dr. Elizabeth Crow, will walk you through it. First, let's look at the classroom view. Students are grouped according to their assessment scores in the classroom view. Please keep in mind that groups should be made up of students with like skills, with similar instructional needs that can be met in small groups. Click on any child's name in the classroom view to see their personalized graphs, information, and scores on the score table. The A2I lesson plan provides suggested activities to match the amounts and types of instruction needed by each group in the classroom view. Before you begin using the lesson plan, there are a few organizational decisions to make. To start with, choose the reading curricula that you wish for the lesson plan to use when providing recommendations. Make three curriculum choices based on the materials you are currently using in your classroom or have access to within your school or district. Be sure to choose a variety of materials that will be relevant for students below, on, and above grade level. On the lesson plan page, you will see a summary of each group, their average grade and age equivalent, from the assessments used to make instructional recommendations in the A2I software. You can expand each group to see a summary of the group recommendations. The A2I software allows for embedded assessments that are adaptive and provide immediate scores that directly feed into the software. A2I also provides class graphs for an overall of all students and their progress. These graphs will show all students in your classroom on one graph for a particular test type. Students with multiple assessment time points will have several columns to display this information. In addition, the individual targets for each student will be displayed above their name so that teachers can examine the progress of all students in one visual. Don't forget about the professional development resources in the video library available within the a i software. Thanks, Elizabeth. And if you have any questions, be sure to check out the Learning Innovations website.